He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide pets, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. When fish move into shallow water, they're much more likely to be in a feeding mood. After all, if they put themselves at risk to be there, why shouldn't there be a payoff? And fortunately for the fish, there are several mechanisms available to increase their security in shallow water. One might be to form up in large schools to reduce the individual risk to each fish, whereas individual fish might move into clumps of heavy cover to avoid detection. As we've said, there's a payoff for the fish for being in shallow water, but there's also a payoff for the fishermen as well. Especially if you're like me and you love can't do wrong situations. Because when you're fishing shallow water, say a foot or a foot and a half deep, you really can't fish your lure too deep or too close to the surface. It's just hard to do the wrong thing. The only thing you have to do right is to find the fish. And the fish are positioned usually in small isolated pockets in this shallow water or next to heavy cover, one of the two. So look for the heaviest, most isolated clumps of cover or look for small open pockets therein and you'll find some big fish even up very shallow. Also, the bait tends to congregate in the very shallow water and that's one of the reasons it draws the fish there. So look for a lot of minnows, look for bait that scatters when you throw a spinner bait or a buzz bait in their area because they're spooked from the bait. And those will be clues in helping you find more and better bass. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend. <laughs>